one of the most important thinkers of my lifetime, Thomas Sowell. And his latest book is Charter Schools and Their Enemies. So where were we at Tom Sowell? <laughs> you were asking about the, the difference between the uh, charter schools and the traditional public schools. The charter schools are public schools, but uh, right. and, 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 and the points of contention. Uh, the charter schools have the facts on their side. The other side has the rhetoric. And there are far more people who hear the rhetoric than there are who hear the facts, which is the reason for writing the book in the first place. Uh, the rhetoric says, look, when you put, it, put them all together nationwide, charter schools and general, uh, traditional public schools, there's really not much difference. And in a sense, that's true, but it's like many things that are true and totally misleading. The white, white students plus Asian students are a majority of the students in the traditional public schools nationwide. Black students plus Hispanic students are a majority of the students in charter schools nationwide. Now, for years, generations, white students and Asian students have been scoring higher than black students and Hispanic students. Now, when the charter schools come along and close the gap, uh, the people say, well, the charter schools are no better than the others. If they're no better than the others, how come the others had this huge gap for generations on end, and now the charter schools have closed, closed the gap? My book, the data I collect, uh, compares pe- students who are, are, are comparable. That is, in more than 100 New York City sc- schools, um, uh, th- there are charter schools and traditional public schools holding classes in the same building. And in almost all the cases, well, in all the cases in my sample, uh, blacks and Hispanics add up to a, a, a majority in, in both kinds of schools. And so we're now comparing comparable populations in comparable neighborhoods going in, in, in the same buildings. And when you do that, you find that in, on the math, statewide mathematics test, 10% of the students in the traditional sc- public schools in those buildings uh, pass the, the math test. And in the charter schools, 68% pass right. the math Right. So my, my question, or at least in my mind, was what do they do better? Since they're also public, publicly funded, what do they do better? An, an excellent question that really I, I didn't think of in, that, in those terms. And, 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 and one, one very big difference is this. Traditional public schools are unlike virtually any other institutions I can think of offhand. Every kind of institution, whether it's a, a sports league, it's the, uh, a medical facility, a church, automobile dealerships, they have a clientele. And they must attract that clientele and hold that clientele if they want to survive as institutions. That is not true of traditional public schools. Compulsory attendance laws means they are supplied with a clientele regardless of whether they, whether they uh, educate them properly or don't. Uh, moreover, uh, they don't, the public schools don't even compete with each other because each one has a monopoly in some particular ter- territory. Oh, uh, that's so and, and, you know, it's a, it's perfectly. I mean, it's so obvious. They <laughs> they don't have to compete in terms of excellence. That's right, or or, or, or even competence. Never mind excellence. My okay, goodness, okay, you're right. <laughs> that's now, fair. I, I, I threw those figures out there, which show that the the uh, the, the kids in the uh, tr- in the traditional in the in the charter schools in New York City, which is where I got my sample. Uh, passed this math test nearly seven times as, as often as the kids in the same building in the same class is taking the same test. Has any uh, anyone of the enemies of the charter schools debated you? No, they have not. I, I would be surprised if they did. I would be shocked. Uh, I would even I would help sponsor it monetarily. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, it sounds like a great idea. Yeah, of course it's a great idea. But I, as I tell my listeners all the time, the left doesn't debate, they smear. So They it, silence, which is the main thing. Yeah, well, it's... Sucks. I'd be very surprised if, if, if my book gets reviewed in places like the New York Times. No, of course. Review, That's correct. New York Review of Books. They don't, they don't, uh, you know, I, I don't even get criticized. That's right. That is correct. Ninety percent of all criticism that I receive is from my junior assistant, whose job it is to go through my stuff. Oh, that's funny. That is <laughs> funny. Uh, uh, not your wife? Huh? No, you don't well, get any why, criticism have from been your known wife? To, wives have been known to say a few uh, negative things now and then. Shocking as that may be. Totally. Totally. I'm, I'm sorry I raised the issue. It's a, <laughs> obviously a, a sensitive one. <laughs> When I look at the public school, I report regularly about the curricula that uh -huh. they now advance. Uh, I'm curious if this has made its way into charter schools. For example, the 1619 uh, rewriting of American history, is that, that will be now normative in American public schools. Will that be taught in charter schools? In California, I suspect it will be. So the, 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 the new legislation last year that I referred to uh, is imposing on charter schools the same bad practices that are in the pub, traditional public schools. See, the idea behind charter schools initially was that they, they would be freer to experiment since they wouldn't be covered by all the minute regulations that apply to the traditional public schools. And if they came up with things that were successful educationally, then the, then the traditional public schools would, be, would have the option of adopting these things. What has happened has been the exact opposite, that when the charter schools come up with something that contributes to their turning, turning out a better educational result, the, the, the backlash is to impose, restrict the charter schools and impose the, the things that are failing in the, in, the, in the traditional public schools. For example, uh, the new legislation last year makes it virtually impossible to seriously punish any student who simply disrupts the classes of the schools that they're in. Now, one of the things that charter schools do is have uh, some, some sense of discipline so that kids who are, you know, act out, hit other kids, uh, yell and carry on so the class can't go on, they can be suspended. Now they cannot be under California law. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. More with Thomas Sowell. His important book is up at DennisPrager.com.